Cool. I'm not originally from Chicago. Uh, I went home for the holidays, and I got a very small, very old family. Uh, like my dad's 70, my grandma just turned 95, uh, and I'm an only child. Yeah. 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 So I was buying gifts that I'm gonna get back pretty soon. You know. Uh, that is a tough way to shop. <laughs> I hope my grandma likes the Entourage box set, because that's, uh, that's what she got. Everybody comes to my house for, uh, for Christmas. I have some little cousins, and they don't talk to me at all. They just play video games on their phones and iPads the whole time. I read an article the other day that said some parents are now paying like tutors or coaches to get their kids better at the game Fortnite. Yeah, that's real. That's crazy. That's wild, because when I was growing up, we had to not get laid all by ourselves. So... That was no one was teaching us. Uh, I never really got into video games growing up. I only played one because they let us do it in school. It was the Oregon Trail. Yeah. 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 We played. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they talk about violence in video games now. But as a third grader, I led a party of settlers who all died of the shits. <laughs> my little cousin was like, I just killed 50 zombies. I was like, oh yeah, I buried my son. <laughs> That'll mess you up. <laughs> like I said, I'm an only child, which is weird. My parents drove minivans my whole life. <laughs> Do you have any idea how sad it is to every day sit alone in the back of a minivan? It was like taking an airport shuttle to middle school. Like, it's not, not fun. I'm 25 now. I'm bad at being an adult. I realize that. Like, I put on cologne for a Skype interview the other day. So, it's uh, unnecessary. I have friends that are, like, actually good at this. Like, they have real stuff going on, and I just have to lie to them all the time. I don't know what they're talking about. I feel like I'm back in middle school pretending to know what a blowjob was. They're, like, talking about their mortgage, and I'm like, I totally got one, too, but, uh, what do you think it is? Uh, just so I know you know. Uh, <laughs> I love living in Chicago. It's great. I live uh, next to like a, uh, an elementary school right now. And a few months ago, when it was uh, summer, there was all these kids outside. They were having that classic kid argument. The uh, I bet my dad can beat up your dad. Do you remember that? I kind of got nostalgic. And this kid goes, uh, oh yeah, I've got two dads. And I was like, hell yeah, Chicago, bringing it. Uh, childhood's different now. That's... <laughs> And then he looks at another kid and goes, Hey, Weston, I bet my two dads can beat up your two dads. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then Weston kind of looked down and he goes, Actually, my dad's got divorced. And he goes, Oh my God, I'm so sorry. If you need anything, let me know. Because deep down, he's a good kid. And then, <laughs> and then Weston goes, It's all right. Uh, they got remarried. I have four dads now! Everybody, everybody went nuts. I was like, Man, kids really are the future. That is the future. I, uh, I just got out of a relationship a few months ago, so now I'm like I'm back out there dating, which is hard because when you're with someone for a while, you learn what they like, you get your moves, and your moves aren't universal. <laughs> so I'm learning, uh, especially like sexually, they're like community college credits; they don't all transfer. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go on a date, I'd be like, "All right, Eric, you can't choke strangers." Uh, they don't you won't kill them. Uh, that's, that trust hasn't been established yet. I was with a girl recently, she was like, is choking like your thing? I was like, nah, I just missed my ex. Uh, that's, uh, that's her. She's good. Uh, <laughs> you gotta learn what people like. You gotta learn what they dislike too. That helps avoid a lot of arguments. I used to date a girl who'd get really mad at me if I put periods in text messages. Yeah, she read that as an abrupt stop, like I was angry with her. Right? I was like, man, you must really hate books. Uh, <laughs> those things are full of them. Uh, I do. I, uh, I, date, I date women, which in 2019 is uh, pretty brave, I'd say. Uh, that's uh, pretty brave of me to do. do. But being gay is real cool. Any gay people here? Nope. All right, hey, someone's uh, bisexual on Instagram, I think. Uh, <laughs> gay, being gay is real cool. Gay's in right now. Gay's hot. Gay is the new black. 
That's what I've been saying. And black is also good. Uh, that's called uh, covering your bases. That's, uh, that's what that one's called. The white guy towing the line. Uh, that is... I don't know. And here's the thing, ladies, I'm, I'm really on, on your side, women. I think it's strange that like, large amounts of men in Congress are choosing for women, you know? Like, mainly like reproductive rights, that seems strange. Um, not even necessarily about the issue, it's just weird that it's men choosing for women. Well, that's what I don't get. Because as a 25-year-old guy, I don't know what the hell's going on with a woman. I just believe whatever you tell me. You'd be like, yeah, Eric, every month I get my period and go out in the woods and shed my skin like a snake. And I'm like, yeah, and it's beautiful, okay? You're so strong. You're so strong. I think we're in a good upswing with women right now. I think there's a long way to go. I think we're making progress. That's awesome. I do think women missed the prime time to revolt when they were the only people who knew how to type. <laughs> that was a whole period of time when they were the only one. How did that become like a woman's job? You know? Like a guy saw it, he's like, I can't learn how to type. I have to go get the same haircut. Uh, I gotta, there's only one. I gotta do that. <laughs> A lot of stuff going on uh, like with politics. People, people just want to argue now. I had this lady, she was, she was all mad for no reason. She goes, you mean if a man puts on a dress, I just have to call him a woman? That doesn't make any sense. And I was like, you just put mayonnaise on potatoes and called it a salad. So do labels matter that much to you? It doesn't, doesn't seem like it. Yeah, she hated that. She did not like that at all. And then I kept calling it a uh, tranaze after that. And uh, she didn't like that one either. All right, everybody, thank you so much. I'm Eric Scott. <laughs>